Good morning, good morning. Welcome. Welcome back to Student Victim Assistance Virtual Coffee Chats. This is our fourth installment. My name is Kimberly and I'm the coordinator for Student Victim Assistance at Georgia State University. This morning, I am enjoying my coffee as I queue up some of my favorite movies and favorite songs. It's important that we do something we enjoy during this time of isolation and physical distancing. Uh, sometimes we might find ourselves in isolation due to circumstances outside of our control, or we might voluntarily choose to self-isolate. Today, we have a wonderful special guest joining us who will be providing her thoughts and her perspectives. So please, all of you join me as we give her a big welcome. Hello, I'm Shamar. I am the former Student Victim Assistance graduate intern. I graduated with my Master of Social Work a couple of weeks ago, but I'm still a student at GSU. One more class for my public health certificate. So until summer semester starts, I'm just relaxing, really taking it easy on myself as we're experiencing these unprecedented times and having some tea with Kimberly. Woohoo! Thank you again for joining us and congratulations on your graduation um, and providing your perspective as a Georgia State University student. Um, to start off, what are your thoughts on things that one might avoid when dealing with isolation, Shamar? So I think about how we, or I've heard it said that feeling lonely and being alone aren't always the same thing. And I think it's really important to identify when you're kind of slipping deeper into those feelings of loneliness and trying to stop yourself because it can really become a slippery slope. But even if you found that you sunk pretty far, there are steps you can take to make sure you don't stay there or go any deeper. Absolutely, I agree and thank you for that. Uh, one thing that I would like to add, I believe that it is important that we not focus on the worst case, say, worst case scenario. Um, if we do that, we might find ourselves at a high level of anxiety, which can result in depression, you know, physical pain, illnesses. You know, some of us are grieving loss for different reasons. Some of us might be grieving the loss of a loved one, whereas others of us might be grieving the loss of employment. We might be grieving the loss of, you know, income, things that are normal to us, interacting with other people. So please, if you're not feeling your best as well as mental wellness, please keep in mind that the Georgia State University Counseling Center is still providing services. You can reach out to them at 404 413-1640 or check out their website at counselingcenter.gsu.edu. Also, Shamar, um, if you don't mind me asking, what are some things that um, you might suggest one would do to prevent feelings of isolation or feeling alone? So I think what's been helping me is just staying active. I don't necessarily feel like being hyper productive is really helpful right now either, but small stuff like doing a coloring page, going on a walk, cleaning a bit of my room. Um, last week, I just finished the X-Men movie marathon. So that was oh, fun. I'm sorry. I just want to say I love Wolverine. Wolverine! <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing you can do is check out some of the GSU um, digital socializing events. Some of the groups, maybe, or organizations that you didn't get to check out while you are on campus, a lot of them are still doing um, online activities right now. And if you're really looking for interpersonal reaction interaction, um, look out for some organizations you can volunteer with. Absolutely. Thank you. I agree. And I also suggest maybe using um, technology to your advantage as far as FaceTiming with um, a friend or a loved one. You know, one of your friends that you haven't had time to interaction interact with. Play some virtual games, but whatever you do, do something that you enjoy. You know what? In fact, that's our challenge for you for this week. Do something that you enjoy. Maybe use one of the su suggestions that we provided during this coffee chat today, or think of one on your own. And please keep in mind, in Student Victim Assistance, we offer crisis intervention to Georgia State University students that are victims and survivors of any type of crime, no matter when the crime occurred, and no matter if it was on campus or off campus. We have a 24-hour hotline where you can reach an advocate and set up a private appointment in individual appointment at 
413-1965. You can also check us out on our website at victimassistance.gsu.edu. And thank you again, Shamar, for joining us. We hope that you will join us again. Um, and before we go, if you can just please let our viewers know when they can return to check us out. On Tuesdays. What time? At 1030. That's right. And where? Right here. You got it right here. And thank you again, Shamar, for joining us. All of you, please take good care. We will see you next week and have a wonderful, wonderful, awesome day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.